You know what? I've got a brilliant idea. I want to make music that millions of people love and then disappear for a few years. I got a good voice. Let's make some virgin ambient beats to sing about sad shit. Because all I care about is being heartbroken. But fuck, what do I do? Where the fuck should I start? How else am I gonna emulate my idol? The God, the Messiah, the artist that only a very small percentage of people listen to. Frank Ocean. I don't think I need to really f***ing brief you on who Frank Ocean is. At this point, if you don't know who Frank Ocean is, you're either not listening to English music or you... There's no way you don't know who Frank Ocean is. Like, unless you're not English speaking, you know, like, so I wouldn't expect, like, like the R Banks, you know. <laughs> I think every Tom, Dick and Harry knows who Frank Ocean is. It's impossible. You don't lie to me. Just don't lie to me. So for those who actually still don't know who Frank Ocean is, let me give you a brief breakdown because I this is gonna just waste your time, I feel. Frank Ocean is a singer, singer-songwriter. He's made three albums so far, I think. Channel Orange, Blonde, Endless. And this idea of this video came from Sean Gill. He commented on a previous video of mine. I think it was a Joji video. Yeah, so I thought, you know what, fuck it. Let me try and see what I can do with Frank Ocean. But yeah, this is what I make for Frank Ocean if you hit me up. And I hope I can teach you guys a thing or two because, yeah, I tried. I tried really hard. This is one of the harder beats. And so this is this is my attempt at making a Frank Ocean beat. So I initially started off with this organ. I am not sure what these chords are. But you can copy them if you want. So these are the chords and they sound like this. Okay, so to get it sound like that, I used a Mini V this time, Mini V3. It's an Arturial plugin. And I believe I used the so I used the house organ preset. I it looks like I messed with it. I'm not sure what I did to it, but you can copy the settings if you want. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Go ahead, pause it, whatever. Go ahead. And then I cut a lot of the highs, cut some of the lows. Added a chorus, this VEP, this um, another clever plugin that I think was free, but it's not anymore. RC20, some delay, college dropout, they're not plugin, they're at Max for Live, I think, and a Valhalla room. And I just put it on this, this setting. I then freeze and flattened it and I turned it into a sky note just to give it more atmosphere and this is what I ended up having. Yeah, so I had that sky note thing that's going out throughout the beat and then I added this piano. I took the addictive keys jazz-ish preset. I used this preset for this piano. So this is just a standard jazz jazz-ish piano. I just took the original chord progression and then just kind of added some more shit and made it more like human-like by you know dragging the notes back, changing the note velocity here and there. Oh, I also use this scale function for non able for Ableton 11 users. If you're not very good at music theory and you want to know what what notes are in the correct key. You can just go here, the clip scale function. See if I turn it off, it'll, everything's back to normal, right? So that's how you get the scale function. So it sounds like this. So I, I did the the thing like like the sod episode like I did where I used a utility and then just kind of ducked and made some parts louder. It's, I think it's a very good thing because it makes like a very simple pattern sound slightly more complicated because or slightly more interesting because it's like moving and shit doesn't stay at one. I used a door cassette for this, a Svep. So if, if you pay attention, like I use a lot of lo-fi plugins or like plugins that make something lo-fi because I feel like a lot of Frank's stuff is like quite lo-fi sounding-ish. And so, yeah. And then this texture thing, I use my guitar and I just kind of like flick shit. I'll show you after, like, I'll show you what it sounds like and then I'll show you what I did.
Yeah, it sounds very soft. It's just kind of like to add texture to the beat. I'll show you what I did briefly on my guitar and maybe you can like use the same technique to like add it into your thing. So this is my guitar, right? I kind of just like put my finger over my guitar and then just like strum it. So kind of like this. Yeah, so that's what I did. I'm not really playing, I'm not really holding the notes down. I'm just kind of like putting it over the, the notes, the strings, so that it doesn't actually produce a sound. Yeah, so that's how I did it on my guitar. It seems like my thing is broken again. Oh, that's so annoying, man. Whatever. And then I got this bass. I played it on using my guitar and then just pitched it down and using the bass amp. Yeah, not very complicated bass. Uh, I then have this like guitar melody that I used my guitar to play again. Yeah, so I use a vap. Echo Boy Jr. I put it on the cheap tape 16th slap preset. <laughs> what a name for a preset. And then more of a hollow room, so reverb essentially. And then I just did the, the same thing where I put the utility and everything. And then I think the last thing was this violin. And we got this like start part. Shout out BBC Symf Symphony, that's what it's called. Symphony Orchestra. Yeah, this shit's free. I can't believe it. But yeah. Just kind of did the same and that's the first part of the beat so yeah by the way keep in mind that i kind of pitched this whole thing down by minus three semitones so i'm not really sure what it's in the key now and yeah it sounds like this That's it for the first part, and then I have this, I think this is the Mark 1, let me check, yeah, Traveler, Valhalla Room, that's it, and I just do, did the whole utility gain thing, and then I played this small little like bell sounding melody, again I used the mini V3, put the soft bells preset, so the reason why I'm using a lot of Arturo plugins, well, one, because it's good, and two, because I watched the Malay tutorial, you know the Malay, you know uh, Frank Ocean's producer Malay, right? He made the, he made a video. He, he didn't make a video, but he was on a, I can't remember, I'll put it, I'll link it and see if you, and see if you guys are interested in watching it. Uh, yeah, so I used that bell preset, the glitch delays, fab door cassette to get this sound. Yeah, and I then doubled up the violin just to make it more grand. Yeah, and finally we get to the drums because you know, Frank Ocean doesn't really have a lot of drums in his music, except during like Chanel Orange, but yeah.
Because it's Frank Ocean, I just use a lot of the Malay sample pack kick. I mean, Malay's kick. It's a sample pack called Splice. You can use it if you have Splice. If you don't, then maybe you can just download my video and I just take it from there. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so these snares are very muffled and stuff. If you hear, if I just solo the snare, it's quite muffled. Like, yeah, and then I just lay the tom over the, the snare. I didn't really do much to it because it already sounds kind of good itself. Oh, I didn't even put like, I didn't even put a reverb on it. It just sounds like reverb on its own. That's pretty much the beat, guys. I put Decapitator on, Drum Fatter, because you know, I love that. I love that setting, it's so good. And yeah, sorry, and that's the beat. Quite a simple thing because, you know, it's Frank Ocean. He doesn't really need a lot of complexity in his beat. And so, yeah, I mean, I tried my hardest to emulate it. I will continue to try because I've never seen really a Frank Ocean type beat. Hopefully, by the time you watch this thing, my friend has recorded some vocals on it so that you can kind of hear what it sounds like. If not, then you just hear the beat after this. I hope you guys learn a thing or two. I enjoyed making this, even though it was quite, quite difficult. I don't know why. I really struggle with beats that sound simple but complicated at the same time. It's a skill that I definitely need to learn about. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. There are freebies in the description for producers and singers. I hope you like those. If you're not an artist, like a vocalist or your producer, maybe help a friend out, send the link to a singer or rapper you know, and hopefully they enjoy a thing. If you made a song with my beat, tag me on Instagram. I love to see what you guys make. Shout out to this guy called Neil Vez. Shout out to Neil Vez. He just made a song from you from a beat, from a free pack that I made. It's called Paradise. Go check it out. I will definitely link it in the description. I thought it was pretty sick. I, I'm really happy that someone actually used it. So if you guys keep doing it, I'll share what you guys do. And I'll link your, your Instagram in the bio as well. I hope you guys enjoy this video. The beat's gonna play after this. Peace. Thank you.